Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial in the course of MRI preprocessing techniques. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys bias fail correction. Bias fail correction is a technique to improve the image by removing some signals in the image. About these signals or bias field signals, these are generated by the scanner when the image is acquired. These signals are little perceptible for humans, but for, uh, but of high sensitivity for processing algorithm. So, here we have an example of a raw image. We have the corrected image too. Usually, the improvement is hard to see, so we also plot the bias for correction. This is to have an idea about which areas were improved. Another way to see the improvement is to notice that these images, uh, I mean, the image looks more homogeneous in some intensity values. And this is the goal of the bias fair correction, to have same intensity values for same type of tissues. With this in mind, let's start with the code. So let's start, we first import our libraries. We define the base there. We define our raw examples. And now we pick the first image. We load it with SITK and reorient it using the DICOM orient function. Remember, from now, these are the steps we always do when loading images. We get the array to plot too. And this time we are going to use a different color map to see the image. So let's execute. And there we go. So now this image looks noisy, but it is indeed the same image as before. So we will see how these, uh, range, these regions change uh, after the, the processing step. The first thing we should do is to create a head mask. We need to do this to tell the algorithm to only process the region belonging to the head. And with this, we want, uh, we want to be more efficient. To do this, we will use the thresholding function that we have already seen in previous videos. I will use the rescale intensity function. This is uh, self-explanatory. We, we rescale the values of the image. We will use the lead threshold. It could be other, but this is fine. So this will be our head mask. So now let's execute and let's see how this looks. There we go. So this is our image and this is the head mask. We explore some slices and all this section will be processed by the bias for cor correction. So now let's start with bias field correction. Before we start, we should shrink our image. We shrink the image because the algorithm is expensive and we should use a shrinked version of the image. We're going to use a shrink factor of four. We use our non function SITK.shrink. We're going to pass the image and the shrink factor multiplied by the dimensions. Remember, this is how we use the shrink function. Then we're going to do the same thing with the head mask. We use same parameters as before. And this will shrink our head mask too. So now we create an instance using SITK M4 bias field correction image filter. Then we call the execute method we pass the input image and the mask image. So these are the shrinked image we just created. And this object contains now information about the corrected version. So let's run the algorithm. It takes a few seconds. For images with more slices, it, it, it could take more time. So let's quit a bit. It's done. And now let's get the corrected image. 
In order to get the corrected image, we use the bias corrector object. We call the method get log bias field image. We pass the original raw image, and this should give us the log bias field. But this is for the shrinked version. To get the corrected image at original resolution, we do this operation. Raw image SITK divided by SITKX for exponential function with the log bias field obtained. So this operation gave us the corrected image at full resolution. So let's see the before and after. With some effort, you can see in the after version the tones looks more homogeneous. So let's try another color map to see better the intensities. And there we go. So let's look for a good slice. Uh, here we have. As you can see, the before version, it looks more irregular in the intensities. And the after version, uh, it looks more regular in the intensities. So that's it by now. Let's continue in the next video.